Alright guys, have a wonderful day. Um, I'm with my closest friend, uh, the pride of Japan. <laughs> the most beautiful woman I ever meet in my life. Wow. Uh, this is the most iconic girl <laughs> in the entire the world. Let's welcome Ms. Maria Osawa. Yeah, wala pa rin. Still uh, uh -oh. looking for love. But uh, you, how are you? It's been a long time. I will see you. I'm doing good. Yeah. Busy with work and enjoying Philippines. Enjoying Philippines, right? What keep you busy right now? Um, Actually, my lounge is doing really nice. Mm -hmm. So we oh, have like... The people uh, two... let know your business. What's... Uh... Okay, so I have two lounges. And oh. one is located in Makati New mm -hmm. World Hotel. Yeah. And the other one is located in Zorts World. Mm -hmm. And we have like cute girls. Like mm -hmm. making alcohol, talking, yeah. having fun, mm -hmm. and then we just open like a Korean barbecue restaurant. Wow, like, yeah. Yes, you I like Korean food? I love Korean food. Oh. Like, how are you project right now? Do you have still a uh, showbiz? You're doing something? Um, actually, well, not too much on the acting mm -hmm. or whatsoever, but I do sometimes like host like events, like do some like shows, mm -hmm. and yeah, hosting gigs. Hosting gigs, I right? Think, yeah. Oh, nice, man. Mm -hmm. uh, for the people who, who don't meet you, uh, when do you start? What's your, uh, where do you born? Where do you Okay, raise? so I was born in, raised in Japan, mm -hmm. but we date in Canada on and off. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, that's how I speak English. Mm -hmm. Did you go to school in Japan? What's your house? Yes, in oh. Tokyo. What course did you take? But um, I went to an international school wow. and then it was really nice. It was really nice. And many people asking me, why you choose Philippines? Um, well, of course, I came first for the business, right? Yeah, business, and then yeah. it's going well. The people are really nice here mm -hmm. in the Philippines. Hospitality is really nice. Mm -hmm. And I find like the culture is very different from Japan. And I like that also because, you know, something different, something New. You're new, right? Yeah. What's your first uh, main business here in the Philippines when you came here? First? Yeah. You, um, you movie, right? I remember it. Movie, that. yeah. Mm. Nina Lang. Nina Lang, With yeah. Cesar Montano. Yeah. I had a friend, common friend, mm -hmm. and then she was from the Philippines. All and right. then when she came to the Japan, she was like, oh, do you know that you have like a huge fans, huge fans, fans in, in the Philippines? Philippines? Yeah. So I was like, actually, I never went to Manila before, only Cebu. Yeah. So I was like, oh yeah, I want to try, I want to try. Yeah, yeah. And then the first gig that I had was um, Boys Night Out. And then I remember also that a uh, few years ago, there was a big tsunami in Japan, right? Yeah. People are worrying about you. <laughs> because what's happened to Maria Osawa, did will, Maria Osawa will die or something? <laughs> you are such a precious woman here in the Philippines. <laughs> so, yeah, you're like a golden and girl yeah <laughs> right now people asking are you single are you married or something well i'm not married but mm -hmm. i have a boyfriend mm. he's half filipino half spanish oh wow how many boyfriend do you have in, in entire life entire life yeah do you have any many boyfriend how many boyfriend uh, uh serious boyfriend not serious really. oh, yeah. okay serious boyfriend maybe like five wow five and but then, then every time all I japanese get, all Jap japanese or half Ah, have right. something, have Japanese, have American. But this time, what's the difference between Filipino and the other foreign band? Like Japanese, what's the difference? The biggest difference from Japanese guys and the Filipino guys mm -hmm. are that the people here express their feelings yeah, very yeah. much. Mm -hmm. And then they are like, their hospitality towards the women is very nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, really. Because in Japan, it's the culture. The yeah. guys don't really express their uh, feelings, love or yeah, their feelings. feelings yeah. And then the girls are like more, not as highly seen yeah. so it's like you know like the housewives mm -hmm. and the girlfriends they're the one who has to do everything for the boys right oh, yeah, yeah. but then here it's 
totally different. Yeah. The guys does everything. So I was mm -hmm. like, okay, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of hobbies, what's your hobbies? My hobbies. I like sports. I like wow. cooking. I like traveling. Mm -hmm. I like so many. I, I'm an outdoor person. You know. I used to play field hockey. Wow, field hockey. Yeah. It's a... Uh, well, of course, I'm from Canada. Canada, right? yeah. And, uh, well, I'm learning basketball right now. Do you want something cook? I, I see your Instagram story here. Do you mm. like cooking? I love cooking. Yeah. I made an Instagram page just for my cooking uploads. Oh, okay. It's it's stress relieving. Mm -hmm. When I'm really stressed out or like, and it's healthy also, yeah. and it's cheaper. So it's just I enjoy cooking so much. Yeah, that's that's nice, man. Yeah. That's nice cooking. Uh, but right now you're still uh, planning to go back to Japan, or you want to stay here? Um, I want to stay here. Mm. It's really nice here in the Philippines. It's nice, right? Yeah. All people are good. Yeah, yeah, they're fun to be with. Yeah. And oh my God, the beaches and people actually don't really tr like trust me when I say this mm -hmm. or believe me. But but I love the weather. Yeah. I love the hot weather. Wow. Because in Japan, it's cold, right? Yeah, we have four seasons, but mm -hmm. out of four, three is so cold. Yeah, so cold so, in Japan. Yeah, I like this sunny weather. On uh, Nisiko, right? Nisiko, Nisiko the, the coldest place in Japan. Yes, it's in Hokkaido, Sapporo. Oh, Sapporo. Area. Instead of acting, what do you want? What's your dream in life? No, actually, I didn't go to college. What? My highest um, degree is like high school. Why? Because if I was going to college, mm -hmm. my parents were like, I should go to Canada ah. and I didn't want to go back to Canada ah. like Canada is a really beautiful country yeah I love Canada but growing up there mm -hmm. it was a little bit kind of like boring mm -hmm. a little bit because but, it's yeah. like super nature mm -hmm. super everything so good, good uh. nightlife was not really good for me wow so I wanted to stay in Japan well, and of you? course I had yeah. a lounge already I was working at a lounge already what age do you work yeah I first started working at 14 family wow. business I was helping a family business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was in this area called Ginza, if in, you know. In Japan. Yeah. Wow, I, nice. I enjoy working. I love working. Like it was it was fun. So every day after uh, school I'll go uh, to Ginza. Ginza. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> What's your unforgettable experience in life? You never forget. Maybe that's when I had my first debut. Wow. When I was 18. When I started to become Maria Ozawa. Wow. In Japan. In Japan. That was life changing. Wow. Good and bad, mm -hmm. of course. Why? Why? What's the good uh, side over that? The good side is mm -hmm. I had my dream set up. Like I wanted famous. Mm -hmm. I knew that I could do it. My goal was to be um, to change the world of mm -hmm. thinking mm -hmm. about the the way they think about adult industry. Like you know, people like yeah. look down Get on the, that industry. Yeah, yeah. But then I wanted to prove them wrong. Like yeah. saying, you know, like this is good. Yeah, it's good. Uh -huh. And then if you have a positive thinking, mm -hmm. everything's gonna be. Right. Yeah. And then you know, I wanted to prove them wrong that people can, can change, change. Yeah. Uh, this industry, right? Yeah. By the side, I had so many bashers, haters, haters. Wow. I had death threats. Wow, really? Yeah. What? People are so crazy. What what people do? What's the craziest people do to you? Your fans? They called my agency before, mm -hmm. and they were like giving death threats, saying like, "Oh, if you continue working in the adult industry, mm -hmm. you will be like killed, or they'll kill me." Wow, or, really? Like, wow. Yeah. So so, it's rude. Yeah, but then I don't know. I'm just like a positive person, so I ignored it. Mm. Why do you uh, enter the kind of industry before? You? Uh, no, it was just like a biggest um, step for me. I I never imagined I was mm -hmm. gonna be one. Yeah. But before I was in a model agency mm -hmm. when I was young, and then I would see lots of like dramas. Like people will become model, but mm -hmm. then when they're not famous, they'll drop down to wow. adult industry. That's uh, sad, right? That's sad, right? So I wanted to start clear mm -hmm. from zero. Well, Zero. I then get famous and then put clothes on and then have my own company mm -hmm. and I did radios in Japan also. Wow. So like you, you did radio. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Wow. So I wanted to yeah you let to, people uh, to, think yeah, yeah to know that you can do anything. But you have never regret for entering no, this kind of industry. Never, never. Uh, because if I regret, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here now. Mm -hmm. People are like saying, Oh, I'm happy that you are having a better life right now. Now, yeah. But it's like, hey, I never had a bad life. Yeah, but my you, life was great. Yeah, yeah you guys yeah. you live a life of the fullest. Yes. I do. No, uh, no regret. No regret, right? Um, for example, the industry is paying you well. I am curious. Um, back in the day, I think it was one of the most paying jobs that you can apply. Mm. But, but how many you, hours did you, if you get, take the movie? Eight hours a day? No, one whole day or two days maybe. Wow. Because it comes with a pictorial also, Ooh, like shooting. Okay. And then we would like shoot for our magazines or ah, like, okay. you know, photo book. Photo book. Wow, nice, huh? Yeah, it was really nice. Nice. Well, now I know. Yeah. 
yeah. so you you guys are call time at 8 a.m. or what time you go there? It will there? be super early, like 7 a.m. And then you finish early until midnight. Wow, this I is know, hard. Right? But Hunter. it's paying well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was before. Yeah, a fulfilling job, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. So lots of girls that I know, they would like save up money mm -hmm. and then go to like college or buy a oh. house or help their, you know. Japanese are very genius. Yeah. For when it comes to like technical stuff mm -hmm. or like work or engineering whatever engineering. Japan's the best the best speak of Japan what's your favorite Japanese food Japanese food oh there's a lot yeah what's well of course we're known for our ramen right? ramen I love ramen sushi, sushi uh, yakitori yakitori very yeah. healthy chicken teriyaki yes yeah. chicken teriyaki also mm -hmm. and we have wow well, Japanese food there's I like raw fish raw food raw food we yeah. eat everything raw mm -hmm. so but then one thing when I first came to the Philippines, mm -hmm. this discovery was like really new to me. Like you guys don't eat raw chicken. Such yeah, as yeah, I never. I eat raw fish but not uh, chicken. So that was my very, very surprising Ooh. thing. Because in Japan, it's like, it's, yeah. we do it like every day. Every thing. day, yeah. yeah. It's like sushi. Sushi. So when I came here, people would flip out. They're like, oh. salmonera, salmonera. Salmonera, yeah. So I was like, what's salmonera? Oh. We don't have that in yeah, Japan. Yeah, but salmon. Salmon. Yeah, you had all, uh, you, salmon, yeah. Yeah, speaking of food, we will try uh, the newest restaurant you will go together. And let's try their um, day food. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready, I'm, I'm so ready. ready. I'm ready also. Hi guys, we am here with Bari Uman Ramen here in Serendra BGC. I'm still here with the beautiful and gorgeous Miss Maria Osawa. Yeah, Maria, what's our order? I started off with the spicy ramen mm -hmm. with pork. All right. And you is Bari Uma Ramen. Yeah, Bari Uma Ramen. And actually, Bari Uma means very, very good. Right? In Japanese. In Japanese. Oh, right, like, nice. Like do straight translation. It's like sarap sarap. It's like pinaka masarap. Mm -hmm. And then here. The gyoza. What's gyoza in? It's like a. Uh, gyoza is like a vegetable and pork. Like lumpia in the like Philippines. Lumpia, lumpia yeah, in Filipino, yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah. And here we have the yakitori platter. Platter, yeah. And yakitori I, is what's meaning of yakitori? Yakitori is um, barbecue chicken. Ah, barbecue, barbecue chicken. chicken. When I first came to the Philippines, I noticed that mm -hmm. Filipinos like ramen also. Yeah, we really like ramen. That's really unhappy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where the, uh, me too. My, uh, myself, I like ramen. Okay, let's try first. Yeah, let's, let's try first. Try. All right. All right, we are the most wonderful day with Maria Osawa. Thank you so much, yeah, Maria. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank, thank you so you much. Yeah. Know. Invite your followers, your fans. So, how do you follow you on social media? Okay, so my social media. Maria mm -hmm. Ozawa. Mm -hmm. My Twitter is Ozawa Maria 0108 mm. and Facebook Maria Ozawa. So please come and follow me. Um, that's it. Uh, sayonara. 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 Goodbye. Bye. Bye.